Is in this video we're going to talk about the uh, functions related to comments. We will discuss previous comments link, next comments links, and uh, comments open, comment form, all of these functions. Okay. So in my previous video as well, I have discussed that uh, this is my page.php uh, template uh, in my in the root directory of my theme, which is responsible for displaying the uh, single page uh, template okay uh, and uh, the template for displaying all pages as you can see uh, inside of this I'm calling the uh, comments template function uh, which is going to go ahead and check if there are any custom templates for comments uh, for the theme if there are any it's going to load that file uh, however if there aren't then by default it's going to load the cust uh, comments.php file inside of the comments.php uh, file which is basically a template for displaying the comments for the post uh, we have different things going on over here we are checking if the po uh, post requires a password if it does then return don't uh, execute any further codes we are checking if it has comments we're getting the comment number we're using nx function to display singular or plural uh, line uh, for this text and then we are also using get comment page count over here and we are checking if there are more than one comment on the page and we are using get option function to get the uh, option value of the page comments and then over here we are going ahead and uh, translating this comment navigation and we're using previous comment link and next comment link function so what do these do uh, so if we go ahead and check previous comments uh, link function basically displays the link for in fact uh, this particular previous comments link if you check so let's say we go on to our site okay and we go on to any of the pages let's say this page okay so over here um, you have the navigation okay so for all the comments if you click on it this is the link for previous and this link is also for previous comment okay so let's see so over here if we check uh, this is the navigation uh, tag with the comment nav above uh, inside of this you have the nav link uh, clear fix then you have nav previous and nav next so let's find that here okay so if we find common nav above and this is a tag which is displayed here and inside of this we have the com uh, nav previous and nav next so we have uh, nav previous div Alright, so inside of this we have this link being displayed for the older comments. So that is coming from this previous comment link. Okay. So basically the previous comment link displays the previous comments page link and the next comment uh, comments link function displays the next comment page link. Uh, before we get into these functions, I would also like to sh uh, share with you that sometimes it shows as comments closed okay so how to fix that issue so for example if I go to pages this particular page that we were viewing I'm going to check the discussion and update it if you refresh the page you will notice that um, it's showing as comments are closed okay so in case if you are getting this uh, you know messages comments are closed uh, which is actually coming from over here wherein we are using the function comments open okay comments open is going to return true if the comment uh, current post is open for comments so here we are checking if the comment is not open which means if it is closed and there are comments which is get comments number which means there are comments inside of it and it supports the comments okay using list function post type supports okay then go ahead and display this message comments are closed into this file okay so in case if the comments are closed then you will get this message uh, using this function okay 
<clears throat> um, so if you want to fix that, all you have to do is probably uh, just go to that page. So let's say this is the page we are viewing and um, click on screen option, click on uh, discussion and then just check allow comments, allow track max and ping max on this page and also go in you uh, settings and then discussion. So this discussion page is the one responsible for uh, you know setting the options for the comments so ensure that this option is checked allow people to post comments a new article okay once that is done if you refresh the page now you'll be able to see that you know comments are not closed and you, and people can reply to this comment and post the comment okay cool so coming back on to what we were discussing earlier okay and then I clicked on the older comments and then you have an option if you check you have both the options older and newer comment so nav next nav next and this is where we're calling the next comments link function uh, this is going to escape the HTML and translators as well uh, for the newer comments and it's going to display the newer comments link okay uh, next function is the comments open function which we have already discussed so comments open function uh, will return true if the current post is open for comments so as I explained to you earlier that you know you can go to uh, discussion and ensure that this is checked and just go to that page and uh, click on discussion and ensure this is checked to allow comments if this is not allowed if this is not checked then in that case uh, this will return true okay and that means that the comments are closed and it's going to display the messages comments are closed get comments number function is going to return the number of comments post type support function uh, if you check on codex it checks a post type support for a given feature and it's going to go ahead and return true if the if that particular post type supports that particular feature which you have passed so it takes two parameters both are required first is post type so over here we are using get post type function which is going to return the po the type of post in this loop which is post and then the second parameter we are passing is the feature the feature being checked uh, so whether this post supports comments if it does then um, it will return true okay so it says if comments are closed and there are comments let's leave a little note shall we okay so if it supports the comments, if the post type supports the comment, if there are comments, but if the comments uh, are closed, then it's going to display this message. Okay. So that's pretty much it for these functions that we are discussing. And uh, one more function uh, regarding the comment form. So just below these comments, if you notice, there is a form like this, this one right here. okay which is uh, coming by this function so comments form basically uh, outputs a complete commenting form commenting form for use within the template okay so we are into the comments template which is responsible for displaying the comments and if you're calling comment form function is going to display this particular form which you can use uh, which you can use to go ahead and uh, write new comments and post them so this form right here which is the whole section including the logged in admin logout post comment and all of that is coming from here if we don't call this function over here if we comment it out you can see that that form is gone okay Cool, so that's about it then, I'll see you in the next video.